Hi there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV. I'm here in San Francisco at the Thirsty Bear at the Brightco Video Alliance meetup where there are a number of cool tech companies. So I'm here with Matt Wall. He's a product manager at Cool Iris. And what is Cool Iris? So Cool Iris in a nutshell um, is a way that, we, that we've come up with to really dynamically create how you view the internet. Um, so for example, NFL season's opening tonight. Um, so if I do a search for Steelers on YouTube, uh, I'm going to come up with a couple hundred thousand results. You only get 20 results per page. I have to click next, next, next. We really don't like that next button very much. So what we do is we take all of that content that you get through the search and put it up on an infinite 3D wall that allows you to seamlessly page through. Um, we use hardware acceleration to be able to allow people to more easily visualize all that content. Um, we also serve as a content aggregator, so we're taking content from folks like Hulu, CBS, etc., to allow people to more immersively consume media in one central place. Okay, and you told me you're a browser extension, so do you work on all browsers, and what does it look like? If I'm on Firefox, what will Cool Iris look like while I'm searching on Google or YouTube? Definitely. So we work across all browsers, um, so we, or the big major browsers. So we work on Safari, IE, uh, and Firefox, and we also work cross-platform. Uh, so we're on Linux, uh, Mac, and Windows. Um, and what it looks like, basically, if you can imagine this, is kind of like you're in a museum. Um, and so I'm flying down this infinite wall of content. It's better seen than believed, so we'll have to show you it after, uh, after the interview. Or we could just run B-roll underneath some of this. <laughs> okay, so what is your? So we're here at the Bright Cove event. So are you? You're integrated with them, and in what capacity? Definitely, yeah. So we're a Bright Cove technology partner, um, and actually came on when the program was introduced um, about nine months ago. And what we do is, uh, as I described, our content aggregation service. We actually will take in content from different providers. So currently have relationships with Bright Cove partners like Sony Music and Warner Music Group. Um, and what we do is take their content in, and then allow all of our users to view it. Um, the partnership with Bright Cove has allowed us to really easily take that content in and expose it to our users um, in a couple easy steps. So, so how many people are using Cool Iris? Do you know? Can you track that? Definitely, yeah. So we've to date seen about 20 million downloads um, and currently have about 3 million active users of the product on a monthly level. And you have a decent amount of venture funding. You were telling me beforehand that you just raised in your second round 15.5 million. Go through who some of your investors are and how much total you've raised. Uh, definitely, yeah. So we uh, raised money from Kleiner Perkins, DAG Ventures, um, also the Wesley Group, and then Team Ventures, which is the uh, mobile arm of Deutsche Telekom. Um, and yeah, it was for just over 15. Was okay. And so, what's your what's your business model? How do you guys make money? Is it definitely. a license fee? Uh, no, so the way that we would, uh, are beginning to monetize is actually kind of what you would find generally in like GQ or Vogue, um, where people will purchase the magazine not just for the content inside, but also for the advertising. So as we've been able to have a really nice visual display, we've had advertising come up in line that is placed in line with the content as opposed to on the side as banners or text ads, um, so that users really find uh, enjoyable the advertising experience that we offer. Because look, when you're reading Vogue, the ads are just as much fun. Exactly. Okay, but here's my question for you. Is there enough ad money to go around? I mean, it seems as if most of the companies that I talk to are all looking for a piece of the ad pie. Are, are you yet another player looking for a piece of that? And if so, what is your competitive differentiator? Definitely. So we like to think that we are actually quite different. Um, so we found that brands today online really are finding it difficult to convey uh, that strongly branded impression that they'd like to give, that they would typically give through a Vogue GQ or TV. Um, and what we've seen is that there are still a lot of those dollars available where people are looking for new ways and new creative outlets to be able to convey their brands. A couple of the advertisers that have used Cool Iris, do you know? Yes, yeah, so currently we're actually running a campaign with Axe, um, have also worked with Infinity in the past as well, um, and a variety of other different brands. Well, thank you, Matt. Good luck with the company. Great, thank you very much.